Hello friends! Welcome to the mostly slow motion video! For some reason it feels like I've been making things all year, and when looking back on all the things I have made this year, that seems to be exactly the case. I wanted to do a quick recap of what I have made this year, whether in videos and streams or outside of that. This includes a bunch of things that I have not shown in my videos, uh, so let's get to it. First off, I made the mock-up for the 1893 morning corset. Apologies for this being the only footage of it, as I gutted it for the final piece. Then I decided to make myself a full new set of late Victorian unders, including combinations, corset, hip padding, and petticoat. This took forever, but was completely worth it. This corset, by the way, only reduces my waist by about two inches, which is just enough to give me the proper Victorian silhouette. The next thing I made was the Skulls and Roses pinafore. I'm still shocked that the skirt gathers turned out as well as they did, since I was unable to do any sort of traditional gathering method. Ahem. Pocketses. Next up is the 1903 trumpet skirt from Truly Victorian. If I'm going to be completely honest about this one, it did come together beautifully. But, and it's a big but, it was complex and I don't think I'll be making it again in the future, unless I have dire need of one in another color or fabric. be super honest about this belt too? That was a whole heckin' lot of work for not much decoration. It legit took days. DAYS. I'm not at all quick with embroidery and beadwork. I still like it though. Then I made the final 1893 morning corset. Honestly, I don't much like how it turned out, and I may go back and make a lining for it to give it some extra strength. As it is, though, I guess it doesn't need much strength in the way we think of it, as it doesn't reduce the waist at all. So... sturdiness? Ah, the truly Victorian 1903 plain blouse waist. This one was lovely to make, aside from the snaps, which I still need to replace with buttonholes and shank buttons. I haven't found the right buttons yet. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.
I had a love-hate relationship with the making of the found footage video, and I really dislike that the shirtwaist is now too small for me. However, I'm really heckin' proud of how this vest came out. It looks better with a corset, as you'll see later. I finished this blanket sometime in September. I knit a lot, and anything with cables is a wonderful challenge. This was supposed to have fringe on the ends, but I decided to leave it off. I also made this cape, which I finished knitting in early October, but never wove in the ends or got the buttons on. Oh well. Ah, finally. Halloween. I made the truly Victorian 1908 countryside blouse in a very loud pumpkin orange with black dots. And yes, wore it with matching orange and black striped socks. I still maintain that this is peak Halloweening. See? That vest looks better with a corset, doesn't it? And this is the overblouse. Mrs. Depew's 1908 ladies' tunic overblouse. Yes, it's unfinished. It still needs snaps and hooks and eyes. And this is the hat, which needs to be finished on the inside and decorated. Something to finish for next year? Nah, my little Halloween heart would wear this year round. This was my most recent make, the Ageless Patterns 1894 morning gown. That's morning as in breakfast, by the way. It's a fancy robe for a fancy lady to eat her brekkies in. I've already been wearing the morning gown daily, so please excuse any rogue threads, cat hairs, or lint. I did indeed make it to be worn daily. And indeed, I am wearing it right now as I record voiceover. I need a new pair of pajama pants every year, so I decided to make them this year out of black flannel to match the morning gown. Wearing them together is super cozy. Alrighty, time to wrap up the shenanigans. I feel like I made a lot more than this, uh, but I guess my brain also counts the videos. I have a couple big projects planned for next year, including a couple of full outfits, with one being natural form Victorian. Again, I'd like to invite you to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a comfy, cozy December, and I'll see you next year. Until next time, friends.